everybody, it's DJ Doggy Dog here with the Auto Modelers channel. Well, today we're going to be doing some basic airbrushing and also checking out my system. So, without any further ado, I hope you enjoy my video. Okay, let's take a look at my system. I have an Artograph 1530 spray booth with an Iwata Deluxe airbrush set. The set includes a SmartJet compressor and an Eclipse airbrush. Okay, here's a quick peek at the uh, filters on the uh, system. It consists of a top layer, a mid, and also a carbon filter. Uh, the exhaust is vented outside and uh, the booth does a really great job. Okay, let's take a look at my airbrush. The Eclipse is an internal gravity feed airbrush. Uh, it also has a double action trigger. This means when you push down on the trigger, you have air, and when you pull back on the uh, trigger, you have paint. Here's the paint that I use. It's made by Tamiya. It's an acrylic paint, and also I use the Tamiya thinner. If you'd like, you can also use isopropyl rubbing alcohol as a thinner. Before using your paint, make sure you mix it thoroughly. I use this Badger airbrush tool. It works great. I use a dropper to measure my paint, and I also have one for my thinner. You want to have about a 60-40 mix of paint to thinner. It should look like 2% milk. Just before we start, make sure your paint and thinner is mixed well. All right, we're almost there. We just have to dial in the pressure on our airbrush and we're ready to paint. Once I finish painting, I pour the remaining paint back into its container. Okay, at this point, I'm going to take my airbrush apart. I'm going to be taking both the front and the back apart for a thorough cleaning. I use lacquer thinner. Uh, to clean my uh, parts of my airbrush. I find lacquer thinner works the best, although you can use the thinner that you're using rubbing alcohol, but it'll take you a little bit more time to clean. I find lacquer thinner to work the best to clean my airbrush. There are tools that you can use to clean the insides, but lacquer thinner really does a nice job. I use the dropper and paper towel also. Okay, once your parts are all clean, we'll put the airbrush back together. Here's the airbrush wrench that you'll be uh, tightening the front of the uh, airbrush with. You don't want to over tighten the uh, front, just lightly tighten it. Okay, we're putting the uh, trigger back in and uh, after that we'll put the needle in. When the needle goes back in, be very careful that you don't use too much pressure. Okay, we're going to put the nozzle cap back on and also the guard and we're all set to go. Okay guys, that's the end of my video here. 
Hope you uh, found it educational. Any questions or comments, feel free to uh, contact me. Make sure uh, you subscribe to uh, my uh, channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.